Hey everyone, it's Bree, and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Hit Kit Club design team. And today is Product Focus Wednesday, and we are going to be focusing on the rolled flowers, the pocket life cards, butterflies, eggs, and bunnies. So uh, there are lots to be um, that we are focusing on today, and I'm so so excited to share this layout with y'all today. So right now I'm working with these exclusive rolled flowers. Um, that come, oh gosh, I believe it's the embellishment kit. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I believe that's where, where they are from. And I'm working with the March 2021 kits and everything in the kits are exclusive except the color kit because it does have um, some shimmers paints in there. Okay, so these rolled flowers are super simple. The first ones that I was working on, all you have to do is just put a dot of glue and then just bring the two end pieces together. And then I've got a rolled flower here where I start on the outside and I get like a little paintbrush or something round and maybe skinny to help get the uh, piece of paper like rolling just to start it off. And then you just roll it as you go and then you use the inside where there's a flat piece of the flower and you, you dab a little bit of adhesive and before you um, stick it all together while, while your flower is still tight, let it go just a little bit and then it'll allow your flower to open up. Now, Kimberly did, when she did her unboxing, she did these flowers at the end of her video. So if you want to see maybe a slower process of how to do this, since I haven't sped up so much, go check that video out. Um, I, I believe it'll be a few videos back where she's live and she unboxed all of the kits and she will walk you through these flowers and talk and she talks about them a little bit. So I'm just quickly um, rolling them all. I did them all ahead of time. That way for future layouts, they'll be ready for me. So I stuck those aside to dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my layout. Now, since we have quite a few different elements that we're focusing on, I thought that I could create some kind of scene uh, layout. So I'm creating some grass using one of the exclusive pattern papers and it's so pretty. I've been really wanting to use this green pattern paper as well as this like green, yellow, and pink one as well. So I've taken my fringe scissors and I've got like about a two inch strip that I've um, cut into with those scissors and then I'm going to create kind of like a hilly look by taking some scissors and chopping through the fringe and I was inspired by Paige Evans. She did this technique when she did this layout. I think it was maybe last year where she did a bunch of um, fringe strips like I did and then she you know cut into them where they were super wavy. So I was inspired by that to create like a little hill scene where I could tuck some bunnies and some eggs and just to make it look like an actual scene. Now the photo that I've got there is of my two boys just this past Easter, um, they're Easter egg hunting and I think I'll always let them hunt as long as they want to probably as they go and you know as they're adults and maybe with their own kids we it's just a tradition that we love to do I mean they're 13 and 15 and they were so excited Especially, probably it has to do with you know all the monies are, are I'm sorry all the eggs are filled with money and um yeah so they were so excited to hunt and yeah it's just a, you know a little something to give them you know some pocket money for spending and yeah I mean some have like 50 cents some have a dollar there's a gold and silver egg I think I had put like 10 and 15 bucks so it's like not you know super crazy but it you know they get excited for stuff like that and it's hot so I can't hide chocolate or you know candy um because then it melts and that's just kind of gross but <laughs> anyways okay so I'm just building my scene I've got those cute exclusive eggs I've got the adorable bunnies I've got the ephemera pieces and I'm gonna add in some puffy bunnies I have my rolled flowers um I'm just having fun and tucking things in uh, to those uh, layers where I fringed up all of like the grass as you could say and um, I'm just gonna tuck in this cute little bunny and I it I had so much fun I do add the butterflies at the end because you know I kind of just layer those here and there um, but I really had a lot of fun playing and using a lot of the exclusive products in the kits okay so for my title it's just going to be this large uh, chipboard piece that says live life in full bloom and I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up on some foam tape to give it some dimension and the base for my layout is just a piece of white textured cardstock. Uh, I didn't add any mixed media. I just kept it pretty like, you know, just to the scene because it was already busy as it, you know, and I, I honestly had to stop myself. I'm like, okay, now you're getting a little crazy. <laughs> um, maybe hold off on a few other items. Um, so I'm just adhering everything down. Um, for the pocket life cards, I use those as layers behind my photo. And so, yeah, I got my rolled flowers, the cards, I'm going to add the butterflies here at the end, and then I've got my eggs and my bunnies. So 
but I'm just going in adhering things down. I've added enamel dots to the centers of some of the flowers uh, just to make them, you know, look like even more, you know, like the flowers. I've got that cute little Easter basket that says Happy Spring and I've tucked that in next to that adorable purple bunny. I thought that the top seemed a little empty and so what I did was I just fussy cut some clouds out from the same white textured cardstock just to you know just to give my top a little bit of something to make it kind of look finished and not just too empty up there um but yeah those clouds are so cute and so fun to make <laughs> I just took my scissors and just started cutting uh and I think I yeah I did do one on camera so you could just see how simple it is so yeah if you maybe need a little bit of something if you're making a scene try to add some clouds or even maybe you know if you have a, a punch uh, you can add some punched out clouds out up there as well. So I'm just going to, I did pop a few of those clouds up on some foam. That way it gives it even more interest and, um, you know, just some dimension. I'm going to tuck in a few of these puffy dots onto some of those uh, florals. And then under my title, I there was like this, you know, this space that was just empty. So I added one of the puffy fray stickers that says, these memories are so special. And uh, yeah. And of course the dogs went crazy when they were just running around. And what's funny is now that they're older, you think they would find the gold and the silver eggs a little bit easier. And those were the last ones. They like could not find it, find it for the longest time or find them, I should say, for the longest time. So it was kind of funny. They're like, wait, what? how come we can't find them? You know, and they just, they don't really look that that well and yeah at first they were like oh mom you didn't even hide these you know um hard for you like a lot of them were super easy to find and then they started complaining you know like can you give us hints and but no I made them find them it was funny it was very entertaining <laughs> okay so um I'm just going through the chipboard stickers trying to see if there's other things I want to add I do add a few of these uh flowers just to make it look like they're growing out of the grass and um just checking things out I I love that cat with the bunny ears and I wanted to cheat a little bit you know because he does look like a bunny but it didn't end up working and I thought that my page was busy enough so I tried I didn't add anything else to it so here I'm finishing off with some butterflies and I think I've checked off everything that we were going to focus on and I love how this light layout turned out I don't usually make scene cards I, I, I have you know a few times um, but they are so much fun to make and I hopefully I can make another one soon but yeah this was I really, really enjoyed it. And if you haven't made a scene card, uh, if you do, if you are inspired today, maybe try to focus on these same items. Or if you don't have, you know, some of these, maybe just pick one or two and see if you can make a scene layout. I had a lot of fun. And I hope you're enjoying these um, March 2021 kits. The exclusives are insane. The colors, oh my gosh, I am not, I cannot get enough of these. And all of these floral pieces that we get, oh, they're gorgeous. So yeah, lots of texture, lots of dimension. I love it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. And I hope that I've inspired you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.